With the inauguration of Rutherford B. Hayes as president and the deal that he had made, we have the end of Reconstruction. So now we want to talk about the, its impact, its legacy on even today. We're going to look at it at, at the political level, the economic level, and then we'll even look at some race relations. Uh, the Republican Party, as a result of Reconstruction, really comes out in great shape natural, nationally. For example, uh, the, it won every presidential election except for two in the years between 1860 and 1932. The only reason why the, these two Democrats won is because of the fact that the Republican Party was actually split within itself. But once the Republicans lost power in the South, however, they remained out of power for the better of a hundred years. Instead of Republicans in the South, you should you now have had what's known as the Solid South, the solidly con democratic conservative South. This is the origin of the word conservatism in Southern politics. You can pretty much get anyone elected, particularly here in Texas, if all you need to say is just, I'm conservative and that person's liberal. If you do that, you can pretty much get elected here in Texas. Uh, I mean, look around you. I'm here in the Wichita Falls area. And look under the uh, the street signs that you see. This has been recorded in January 2018, uh, right before the pro a primary uh, later this year. Right? And you see all the signs, particularly for the... Uh, Republican candidates. Some of them don't even say Republican. In fact, even just say conservative. Right? So, uh, when it comes to the, the political impact of, conserv of Reconstruction, conservatism is the watchword of, of today's so uh, Southern politics. Now, what has changed is the party. Well, I told you in an earlier video that we shouldn't be thinking about conservative Republicans and liberal Democrats. Remember that these parties are pretty much switched uh, from what we're, we're thinking until all the way until 1896. Then we start seeing the modern day trajectory of the two parties. But nevertheless, uh, all you really need to do is change Democrat to Republican today and you have what's going on today. Uh, so in Texas, for example, as of 2018, there is no Democratic politician that has a statewide office here in Texas, right? So in just the short period of time, since the mid-1960s, when the Democrats controlled all the statewide offices, till today, a major, shift has, as a major shift has occurred, but only in name. The term conservative still applies to the candidates today as they were back then. 